guys welcome back to part five on the little tutorial on how to build a skin using aeon nox um in the last one we added some color to here and i basically just duplicated it for all the other home menus i've added a little bit of a different color for the power menu just for effect now today i'm going to show you how to add these sub menu items and also how to customize them so we want to go to system appearance we want to go over to the right and we want to hit settings and we want to go to set up the aeon Knox main menu now first thing i want to actually show you is i've disabled these add-ons here that i will not be using as part of this build so basically i've just moved over to the right and unenabled them from that side what i like to do to keep things in order is basically move my menu items around so to do that you want to select the menu item that you want to use and you just want to move over to the right and you want to select move menu item now selecting that will prompt you with this list and it will basically ask you which item in the list you'd like to swap places with so i've selected the system menu and i'd like to keep them all together in one row so i'm going to select this custom free here that which isn't being used so i'm basically just going to click that and as you can see it's moved but just a little tip switching these around will then make this custom free item enabled so you just want to make sure you en disable that from that side and you just want to double check your system and just double check that it is still enabled we're going to quickly do the same for the power and i want that just under the system so again disable that and check that your power is in fact enabled and it is so regarding sub menus you could add anything you like in here i tend to use all different kinds of things for sub menus depending on what the build is that i'm building but for this one here first of all you want to move over to the right and you want to go right down to the bottom and select manage sub menu selecting that will then prompt you with this smaller box this is where you add all your stuff so i'm going to delete everything from there and make sure i'm starting blank the first thing that i'm going to add there is basically i'm going to make it easier for me to get to sections of certain add-ons now genesis is an add-on that i use a lot so i'm going to make myself a sub menu link to the movie section of genesis so in the middle bit here just under where it says skin shortcuts you will see all different options i'm going to make sure that i'm selected on the left hand side where it says none i'm then going to go over to type and i'm just going to hit my enter button on that until we get to the add-on section now this will show you all the add-ons installed on your coder so i said i was going to do genesis so we find genesis in the menu and if you can see the little arrow pointing to the right right next to the genesis that shows you that there are further options to add for this add-on like for instance for navi x it doesn't give you this option but for genesis it does so we're just going to click on genesis it's a video add-on and it will open a new menu now i could add the menu the shortcut sorry linked to just opening genesis but i don't want that but if i did want that i would just select create shortcut to here i'm going to go into the movies section as you can see it's showing that there's a further category that i could select by showing that little arrow like it did on the first page i'm going to select that again now these are all the categories that you would get in the movie section of genesis so for instance i could select latest hd movies now this is just gonna 
open that category momentarily so don't panic if you do see this you will be prompted with another menu asking you if you want the directory to be here this is basically just going to open all the latest HD movies as you can see it's just open them I'm going to select create shortcut to here and as you can see it's appeared on the left hand side so that will be in my sub menu on the movies section I'm just going to quickly add a new one so to do that I'm going to go to the middle section and I'm going to select add as you can see it's added this option here which says none we want to make sure that's highlighted and we want to be on type again I'm going to go back into Genesis do the exact same again I'm going to go to movies and this time I'm going to go to most popular so it will do the same again and open all the most popular movies just wait for it to finish doing that if you're on um, a slower machine it might take a little bit longer than the time it's taken for me here but as you can see it's open then and I'm just going to select create shortcut to here again and as you can see it's added that to the left hand side you can do this as much as you want you could do it for any add-on that gives you that option um, I'll just basically want to add one more for Genesis so I've selected the add button again I've gone over to the right I'm going to go to Genesis I'm going to go to my Genesis and I'm just going to put favorite movies in there and just select create shortcut to here now to add another one I'm going to add one from we will just select Phoenix and I'll pick something from Stales section and I'm just going to add 2015 HD movies and again I'm going to create shortcut to here now coming out of this option onto your home screen you will see it gives you a little bit of a delay sometimes of building the skin shortcuts especially if you're on a device that isn't high spec I'll let it finish to 100% building them shortcuts and then you will see there as you can see these are all my sub menus that I've just added so if I was to go down on one of these and go to latest HD movies which if you remember we added from Genesis it will take its time to open the first time around but once it does open it will take you straight to that category from within Genesis you will see along the top bar it will change in a minute and you will see exactly where we are as you can see there we go Genesis and it's took us straight to that category now if I just press my backspace it takes me back on the home screen and we'll do the same again for most popular it may take its time again the first time around but it will open just give it a little bit of time to do that press the backspace again and there we go so you could do this for anything that you choose to have in that category let me just take a look and see if there's anything that I have missed out that you could add in there we've done favorites um, renaming these guys for instance you could have favorites in three or four different add-ons I'd recommend renaming them so to do this you want to highlight the one on the left so I'm going to select the favorite movies and I'm just going to set the label on that and I'm just going to put, I'm going to delete all that and I'm just going to name it Genesis Faves, just like that. And as you can see, you're then aware of what exactly it is that you've got on there. You can do the same again as you would have done on the home screen in, case, in ways of moving up and down. You can move these around, these icons, in whichever order you want them. And you can also have the option of adding the colour. So I said in the other video we're going to go with a red and blue theme. So we're just going to add the exact same code as we did in the previous video. But I'm just going to change the colour up. I'm going to add Dodger Blue. Close the brackets on that. And we're going to select Done. We'll do the same again. 
for all of these. And as you can see, they've all now changed colour. You could add the bold and the italic there too if you wanted. And we will just go. And as you can see, the colour has indeed changed on them. So that about sums up the sub menu. Um, as I said, you can add whichever shortcut you wanted in there. Just take note that the ones with the little arrow pointing to the right are the ones that offer you further menus to go into. And that about sums up the sub-menu sub option, guys. In the next video, I'm going to cover um, changing your backgrounds and changing the font of the whole menu as well. You can add it in different fonts. It's a little bit more advanced, so if you're not interested in that, you're pretty much up and running with everything you need to do to make your custom build. I hope... I've helped some people with this or some people have learnt something new and thanks for watching guys. Cheers.